to thank one of my subscribers, Denya, for this article. Las Vegas man blames flu shot for triggering rare disorder. Now, this came out November 30th, 2018. News 3, which is NBC, out in Las Vegas. A Las Vegas man became partially paralyzed lost his vision and ability to walk just one day after receiving the flu shot. You know, all of their stuff in medicine is a load of crap when you start thinking about it. I, I'll never forget the last surgery I had, they had me taking um, oxycodone. I also had hydrocodone and I was also taking an antibiotic. I kid you not, I started feeling strange. And I remember I picked up the bottle and I had the bag that, you know, the medicine came in. So I pulled off, you know, all of the information that it gives you on it. I kid you not y'all, every single side effect that was on the bag, on the instructions I had, I had every single side effect that was mentioned for that medication. Their medicines are junk. If you can really get to something organic or natural, you are better off with that. At this point, I'd just rather get the flu and just fight my way into getting myself back into health than taking their flu shot. He's been hospitalized for the last two weeks. At one point, he was even put on a ventilator and in ICU and his family blames the flu shot. Wow, he doesn't look good at all. Shane Morgan went from perfectly healthy to unable to speak, walk, or breathe on his own. At the start of November, Shane and his wife, Monique, like most couples, were planning for the holiday and with family and young infants coming to town, they decided to get the flu shot. About 36 hours after he got the flu shot, he started to get sick. Monique said as she sat next to her husband in his hospital bed, Shane started complaining that he couldn't feel his legs or arms. So his wife rushed him to Centennial Hills Hospital, where he spent four days on a ventilator in the ICU. Doctors started treating Shane for Gillian Barr syndrome, also known as GBS. It's a rare disorder where a person's immune system damages their nerve cells, in some cases turning deadly. The Morgans say they're sure the flu shot is what triggered it. I never dreamed that any of this could ever happen, Shane said from his hospital bed. According to the CDC, there is a link between the flu shot and GBS, but it's extremely rare. Yeah, well, you said you said a lot of things are extremely rare, just like the polio-like virus that these kids are getting, but they're all getting it. Um, statistics show one to three people develop GBS from the flu shot, one per one million vaccinations. Officials with the Southern Nevada Health District say the risk of developing GBS is actually higher if you catch the flu. The benefit from the flu vaccine greatly overcomes any specific rare condition like this one that might happen, said Furman Legun, um, chief medical officer with the health district. He'd take the flu 10 to one, Monique said, interrupted by Shane, who said, I take the flu shot three times a season. 
than to have to do this once in a lifetime. They said no one in their family will get the flu shot ever again. The health district says this story shouldn't deter people from getting the flu shot. They say it saves lives. Yeah, it saves lives, ladies and gentlemen, and it makes them rich. All they're really concerned about is their bottom line, their pocket. So yes, they had to come behind the wife and say, oh no, you should still get that flu shot. But this is ridiculous. And in all honesty, this should never have happened, period. All right, we're going to listen to the video. A Las Vegas man became partially paralyzed, loses his vision and his ability to walk just one day after receiving the flu shot. And guess what? He's been hospitalized for the last two weeks. In fact, at one point, his family watched terrified seeing him on a ventilator in the ICU. New at six, his family blames the flu shot. Gabby Hart joins us live from the Southern Nevada Health District. Gabby, what can you tell us about this? Uh, well, Reed Marie, Shane Morgan went from completely to unable to see, walk, or even breathe on his own. Uh, and tonight he's sure that the flu shot triggered a rare disorder called GBS. Uh, and officials here at the health district are saying that there have been cases of GBS linked to the flu shot, uh, but they say that it's extremely rare for this happen. Or he'd take the flu 10 to 1. You I know what I mean? Three times a season. I, I take it three times a season. <clears throat> That's that. They do this for once in a lifetime. At the start of November, Shane and Monique Morgan, like most couples, were planning for the holidays. With family and young infants coming to town, they decided to get the flu shot. And that's when things took a turn. About 36 hours after he got the flu shot is when he started to get sick. Days later, he couldn't feel his legs or arms, so his wife rushed him to Centennial Hills Hospital. He spent about four days in the ICU on the ventilator. His muscles weakened. Shane was unable to walk or breathe on his own. His speech and vision became distorted and his left eye paralyzed shut. The left eye doesn't really work at all because it won't open. Doctors started treating Shane for Guillain-Barre syndrome, also known as GS. It's a rare disorder where a person's immune system damages their nerve cells, in some cases turning deadly. The Morgans say they're sure the flu shot triggered it. I never dreamed that you could do any of this could ever help. According to the CDC, there is a link between the flu shot and GBS. However, it's extremely rare. Statistics show one to two people develop GBS from the flu shot per one million vaccinations. And officials with Southern Nevada Health District say the risk of developing GBS is actually higher if you catch the flu. The, the benefit from the flu vaccine uh, greatly over, overcome any uh, a specific rare uh, condition like this one uh, that might happen. But for the Morgans, they say it wasn't worth the risk. What is your thoughts now about the flu shot? <laughs> it's the last time anybody in my family will ever get one. 